one in your textbook. It says an airplane climbs at an angle of 15 degrees with the horizontal component of speed of 200 kilometers per hour. What is the plane's actual speed? Okay. What is the magnitude of the vertical component of the velocity? So here is definitely, we're going to have to draw a picture for this, okay? So let's, let's uh, we got to list what we know and then draw a picture and then try to solve it. So for problem number one, we're told that, that there is a plane Okay. So that's my plane. And we're told that the plane is flying at an angle above the horizon of 15%. So we'll say theta is equal to 15, not percent, but degrees. Okay. We're told that it's vertical, or not it's vertical, it's horizontal component or horizontal velocity or V sub X is equal to 200 miles or kilometers per hour. 200 kilometers per one hour. That's pretty fast. And we're basically asked to do two things. We're asked to find V sub Y, right? And we're asked to find V. Well, first thing I've got to do is I've got to convert V sub X into meters per second. So I know that there is, in one hour, 3,600 seconds. And then I also know that in one kilometer, there is 1,000 meters. So I've got to convert that. So if I take my calculator and I say 200 times 1,000, because i got to do the top, I'm going to say 200 times 1,000. That's the numerator of the fraction. And then I just have to divide that by 3,600, right? You guys know where I'm getting the numbers from, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, my V sub X is actually, well, it's about 55.5 meters per second, okay? So what do, what do I do to solve the rest? Well, hmm. This is the challenge, right? Basically what I have is I have an angle of 15 degrees here. I know that this is 55.5 meters per second. Now how do I find the rest of this? Yeah. So I could say, let's do this. We said that theta was equal to arctan of the y component, which is v sub y, all over v sub x, right? That's what we said, right? Can I find v sub y from this? How? Well, the first thing that I need to do is I need to multiply both sides by V sub X. Or can I do that? No, I can't. I gotta be careful how I do this. It's a little more challenging than I thought, huh? Yeah. Well, how much do you guys remember about your trig functions? No. So Katoa, good, that's a good start. <laughs> Candy, who said so Katoa? <laughs> I am recording too, so we'll put a we'll put a couple candy bars here. It. All right. So. All right. All right. Wait. 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 Calm down. Here we go. Here we go. Let's draw the picture. Okay. Ready? Yes. Oh my goodness! You guys are like wild animals. All right. Here we go. We, the only thing we know is that this is 55.5, all right? So we have an angle. Um, in terms of Sokotoa, let me, let me get the calculator off the screen here. 
In terms of Sokotoa, okay, here we go. First candy bar opportunity. Okay. You have lovely handwriting. What does Sokotoa mean? Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna I can't say anybody's name, so I'm gonna point to who had their hand up first? Everybody put their hands down. Get it. Alright, we'll let you go this time. Yeah, tell me what this means. The S is sin or sign. The O is opposite. Mm -hmm. um, the C is cosine, is my and the A is adjacent, <laughs> and the H is hypotenuse, and the D is tan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the O is opposite, and the A is adjacent. Yeah. Alright, so here you go. No, come up here because if I throw it, you guys will <laughs> attack each other. Okay. Alright, wait, 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 wait. I still have more candy. All right, now, here's what I need. Shh. We said that there is an opposite, adjacent, and a hypotenuse. And these three trigonometric functions are just the ratios of two of the three sides. So now I need somebody to come up here and fill out the triangle and tell me which side is which. Who can do that? Okay. What is this, what is this side here? What is this? Where? Right here, this side here. Okay, <laughs> okay which one is this one? Adjacent. Oh, you're lucky. And what's this one? Opposite. Okay, good. Go. Leave me alone. <laughs> now, with that being said, shh, hold on. We want to pick, we want to figure out what the high. Now, remember that this is V sub X and this is V sub Y. I want to figure out what V sub Y is or the opposite. I already have the adjacent and an angle. Which, which trig function would I use to find the opposite? Did you have, okay, come, come. Yeah, just say it, just tell me which one. <laughs> she said, Sakonstan. No, pick one. A candy bar's on the line. No. No, that's too late. Go ahead. Tangent it is. You had your chance. So tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Now, if I if I multiply both sides by a, don't worry, there'll be more questions. She's so salty. All right. So a of tangent of theta is equal to the opposite, right? Do we know A? Yep. It's 55. Do we know tangent of theta? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, that's in degree mode, so I, I need to double check that. Oh, and this is 55.5, so I should probably put the 0.5 in there. So now what I'm going to do is to find this V sub Y, or the velocity in the Y direction, or the Y component of the ve velocity, I simply need to come to my calculator, turn it on, and go 55.5 times tangent of 15. Now what should I double check before I hit enter? If you plug in the right numbers. If I'm in which mode? Degree. Degree. Uh, oh, denied! <laughs> so I'm in radian mode. And now I'm in degree, so now I'm going to come back. Now I hit enter. Now what is that telling me? No, what is what is the number on the screen? What does that represent? Wait, wait, shh. No, don't bl don't blurt it out. I want to give her a chance to earn her candy bar. She was denied last time. What does this represent? Okay, come get your candy. Boy, they are getting salty. Here you go. So, 
So what we what we found is is that if the plane has a comp an x component of this, and it's at an elevation of 15 degrees, then the y component is this. Okay. Now my question is, how do I find the overall velocity or the hypotenuse of the triangle? Raise your hand. How do I find it? Yes. Yes. We, that's where that whole, th so this is 14.87. Okay. So this would be, I had to throw the candy. That's where the velocity is equal to V sub X squared plus V sub Y. That's really just the Pythagorean theorem, right? Isn't it? Yes. Okay. So now what I can do is I'm just going to plug those in. So I'm going to say 14.87 squared plus 55.5 squared. Right? I'll hit that. Now what do I do with that number? Take the square root of that number. And so my... Overall velocity was 57.46 meters per second. So I'm just going to say about 57.46 meters per second. And, it, and it, I think that was all the questions that they asked, right? Yeah.